Little Ninja. Little Ninja. Professional Comic Book Printing. This tutorial is a basic overview of the single page comic book template layouts that we have available for free download on our LittleNinja.com website. If you go to LittleNinja.com, click on the Resources tab and you will see that Print Templates is an option to choose and you will have multiple sizes and products to choose from. In this instance, I have a standard size comic book single page layout template, which is a trim size of 6.625 inches by 10.25 inches. We also have a full bleed size of 6.875 inches by 10.5 inches. Now looking at this template, we notice that we have three various colors. We have the white area, which is known as the safe area. We have a yellow area known as the margin area. And then we have a red, which is known as the bleed area. So what do these colors and areas mean? Before we actually define each respective area, it should be noted that your trim line, or where the page will be cut at, is the line in between the red and yellow sections. This is known as your trim line, so just keep that in mind as we go through describing each of these respective areas because that trim line plays an important role in defining how you lay out your comic book. So the white, or better known as the safe area, is where you want to keep primarily all of your comic book material within. Anything outside of this white safe area has the potential of being trimmed. Therefore, you want to keep all of your primary text and all your primary objects within the white safe area so that it has no potential of being trimmed off. The yellow section, or the margin area, is really just a warning area. This is telling you that if you include anything within this yellow section, there is potential that it could be trimmed off. And lastly, we have the red bleed area. So what is a bleed area? Bleeds come into effect whenever you want a background color or a background image to extend all the way to the end of the page. So you'll see here again our trim line is in between the red and yellow section. Sometimes there can be a blade fluctuation on exactly where it trims the page off. So it could be a little outside of the trim line, it could be a little inside of the trim line. So for that color to extend all the way to the end of the page, in any scenario, we want to push it past that trim line one eighth of an inch. So if that blade does fluctuate slightly outside of the trim line, that color or that background image is still there. And therefore you do not have that white slither of paper that would occur if you stopped right at the trim line. So the bleed area is just to ensure that your color or your background image goes all the way to the end of the page. We're really just extending it one eighth of an inch past the trim line. Understanding these templates and what each respective area represents will help lead to a successful comic book page layout.